I already read the first one and then I was like, it's a sequel. I need to read the second one. Ew! What was that? We went to fix the toilet and we went with them and he sticked his hands in the toilet. Ew! A lot of um, my mental health has really consumed me. Make me turn into a pig. It's a magic spell gets... I missed it there. I really missed it. Like, I really enjoyed it. Oh gosh, the crying begins. <laughs>officially back home things everywhere we are slowly getting there and unpacking yesterday we literally did five loads of washing so I've been kind of focusing on the kids stuff and my stuff is just still got a little bit happening but I just got home from a day up at the shop which was so good Kurt and I haven't really had the chance to work together for what feels like a long time since Miller's been on holidays pretty much a whole month now um, we've just been tag teaming. So he'll go up to the shop when he needs to go. I'll go up there when I need to go. I'll do this. He'll do that. But we haven't actually been able to sit down together and have like a work day. So it was so nice. So while we had the opportunity, we decided to also sit down and do a whole heap of planning for not only this year, but a whole heap of reflecting on our last year. It feels really nice to kind of know like where I'm at, what I'm wanting to focus on this year, how we're wanting to do things differently. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like very clear on where I'm at, which is really nice. I feel like last year we had a really big year with Love Ellis Rose and I loved it. But this year I'm wanting to really put my focus back into content creating and bringing some new exciting things to you guys too. There's some big projects in the works for this year that I'm so excited to share with you that I feel like align so well with me. You guys will see like a lot more vulnerability from me. And yeah, I'm really pumped to kind of not only be a little bit more creative, but also kind of open up and share. I don't know. I was saying on my Instagram today, I feel like the last six months, I've really kind of closed myself off. I've been open and I've been vulnerable, yes, but I feel like I haven't been sharing as many things because I just haven't had the emotional energy for it. And I don't mean about like my personal things or anything like that, but just like even my day-to-day -day life, I feel like a lot of... Um, my mental health has really consumed me. So I've needed a lot of um, downtime, a lot more time to kind of not only um, talk to psychologists and coaches and things like that, but just for me to mentally make sure that I was okay. So I feel like I took a fair bit of a step back, which I'm really proud of myself for doing because I know that Kiara normally isn't very good <laughs> doing that. Um, but I was kind of put in a position where I didn't have any choice because mentally I was not coping okay. So I feel like I'm getting to a point now where I'm just like feeling like me and I'm feeling just like I guess like I have the emotional energy to be able to start sharing a little bit more um it's really hard when you're not genuinely happy or going through like some really hard times to show up um and like obviously I didn't want to show up and be just like a downer every single day and not that every single day was down but there was definitely moments in every single day that were down so um yeah I just tried to you know share bits and pieces but then also listen to myself and when I was feeling down just kind of take a step back and reserve my energy where I needed to. Yes I continue to show up but I feel like um, you'll, you'll notice little things when you look back like my videos kind of got shorter and shorter and kind of stopped like having these chats and sitting down and talking as much. So yeah it's exciting that this next year I kind of know like where I'm at and what I'm wanting to focus on and what I'm wanting to do. I'm definitely not going to be the Kiara that continues to burn herself out and doesn't take time for herself, but I'm also not going to be the Kiara that throws herself into every single thing she doesn't need to. So I'm going to try to focus on the things that fill me up and that, you know, I love doing and try to take a step back from all of the other bits and pieces. I continue to always get myself so involved in Love Ellis Rose and it's great, but they, it doesn't need me to do that. I feel like, you know, Love Ellis Rose is my baby. I started it all by myself, but if I want to fit in, you know, the things that I want to do and also be able to have like a good life balance this year it is time anyways on the note of goals I set myself a little goal this year it's actually not a little goal I actually feel like it's a big goal but it's a good goal because it'll literally make me slow down I've set myself a goal to try to read 50 books this year so as you guys know reading has been a really really great outlet for me I've been loving reading fitness um, and also something I haven't shared with you guys 
is I've been doing a fair bit of music, like playing my guitar, singing um, heaps, but I haven't really been sharing too much of it, I think, because it's something that's like very vulnerable for me. And also like, I'm not great at it. I'm still learning. But yeah, it's something that I'm still like very fresh and new at, but I've been putting a little bit of time into. So I got my first Colleen Hoover book. On the way back from Sydney at the airport, I saw one of her books and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna read it. I've heard so many people rave about it. So I got her book, It Ends With Us. And I literally read the entire book in one day. I've never done that in my whole life. So today I went over to um, Big W and I picked up a few others. So I thought I'd show you guys the new books that I picked up and what I'm reading. So I had to get the second one. Some of you messaged me and be like, there's a second one, you need to get it. So I got It Starts With Us. So that's gonna be the next one I read. I also got Reminders of Him. So they're all by her. <laughs> Verity, which heaps of you guys said you love this one as well. And Ugly Love, which heaps of you guys also said you love. And I also picked up one extra book. Healing Through Words, if you guys haven't heard me talk about this book. I've been doing this for a while now. It is amazing if you're going through a bit of a challenging time. And it's one of those books that I don't use that often, but when I feel like I need it and it's there, it's like so good. So I picked one up for Ashy because I'm going to see her on Friday and every single time she sees me like say a story about it she's like I need to get that book so I picked one up for her while I was there and I also picked up one for Kurt's mum as well. But I'll show you guys what this is like inside because I've never really seen anything like this before. But basically it's all different chapters in the book. So the first one is hurting and there's all different exercises. So exercise one, what trauma looks like. Close your eyes, take 10 deep breaths nice and slowly. After the 10th breath, spend some moments meditating on the word trauma. So then you draw what it looks like there. Observe your drawing and jot down words or simple phrases that come to mind when you look at it. So it's all different bits and pieces like that. But it has definitely been very healing for me. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. And I've never really experienced anything like this one. It's kind of like journaling, but it's guided. Like they, and then as well, like where I'm at now, it gets you into like poetry and you start like writing writing everything into poems and that, which kind of connects well with me um, starting to play the guitar and singing a bit more, like it all kind of goes hand in hand. So yeah, I've really, really been loving that one. But anyways, now that I've chat your ear off, we just walked into the door not long ago. We're gonna go take the kids down to the beach for the afternoon. It's a beautiful day outside. We've been working since seven o'clock this morning and we've been mostly inside at the shop. So we're like, let's go outside, go down the beach. The kids are gonna love it. So that's what we're gonna do. Yes. What do you say? No. What do you want with that? No. Oh, what are you going to do with that? So I reckon we should brush it again or not? No. Okay. Um, you, are you wrapping my book? It's not that bad. Wrapping books? Wrapping books? You're talking very well. Yeah. Yeah, you're talking very well. Yeah, that's called Reeks. It's called Bum Roll. Bum Roll. <laughs> Can you say, mmm, delicious? Mmm, delicious. <laughs> Look, delicious. Is that delicious? It's not delicious. No delicious. Does she eat it though? Yeah. All the time. We we catch Riggy trying to eat toilet delicious. paper. Delicious. Oh, delicious. just gotten myself up out of bed. I've literally still got oil in my hair from last night. I've been trying like different products and things on my hair since taking my extensions out. And then it's such a beautiful day outside. I'm gonna go for a walk and then head down to the beach or the creek. So I was like, may as well just leave it in there. <laughs> so my hair's looking a bit greasy today. But have a look at this day. It is actually perfect. Like so beautiful out there. Started the second Colleen Hoover book as well last night, guys. Got up early this morning, read it again, and I'm already past halfway. These books honestly have me hooked. They're not like the usual type of thing I read. I read a lot of um, like self-help books, self-development books, but they're just like so nice and easy and I'm just really enjoying them for something different. I said to Kurt, I feel like what I'm gonna do is read one easy reading book like that and then every second book read like a self-development one. But I'm not off to a good start because I already read the first one and then I was like, it's a sequel. I need to read the second one. But my goal is for like every one that I read like that or two, then I read one that's like more self-development. I also just bought a couple of weeks ago um, Atomic Habits and I've heard incredible things about that. So I think that'll be my next like self-development one that I read. Good morning, my family. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. How you going, babes? Uh, 
Good. Kurt, yeah. should I make a takeaway coffee again before we go? Oh, yeah. Yeah? We're still going through all the takeaway coffee mugs from our wedding. It's been so handy. It stopped us from buying takeaway coffee so much. Um, I do also have a couple of the reusable ones, but there's something about drinking it out of... I know it's bad. And I'm not saying that I'm going to continue to do it, but something about drinking it out of these cups is so nice. Plus, we're still like a whole... Yeah, a whole box full here. So I'm make us a coffee. Get ready to head out. Yes, baby. You want me to make you a takeaway hot chocolate? Yeah. Yeah, I can do that. Would you like one, Linky? Yeah. Yeah? What are you eating today? A veggie mac sandwich. Yummy. Mama, can I bring me? Yeah, your hot chocolate. Yeah. Go play it. You show me. What you got? I can't hold <gasps> it. Yummy. I can't hold it. Well, I don't know how we're going to bring it with us then, because I can't either, because I got my coffee. I'll hold it. Oh, Mila, you're an angel. The walk is going good so far today, guys. Some days we get to go on like a big long walk. Other days we make it like 10 minutes down the road and have to turn around. But Ricky Girl's been good today. Macy. Macy, I think that dog's a bit bigger than Macy. We've been going this new route where we end up like down the back where there's no cars or anything like that at the creek side. And we can let the kids out. So if they start to get today. restless, I know we went a bit longer, a bit further, but she's definitely ready to get out now. So it's gonna make it down the back creek. Let her out for a little run. Is this an extra long way now? Yeah, up that way. Oh, we've gone down the wrong turn. Here you go, Rigi. You ready to run free? You ready to run free now? You wanna walk a bum? You wanna push the pram for me? Okay. Okay. You push it. So good down here, guys. There's literally no one, like ever, hey? So good for the kids. No roads nearby. It's like bush and grass. So it's actually, oh, you're gonna go off the edge. You're gonna go off the edge, oh, I crash. It's so hot. I just said to Kurt, like, why is she got a long sleeve shirt on? I might take it off. Take this off, can we take your shirt off? Oh, daddy's taking his shirt off. Everyone will be happy about that, dad. Everyone comments says, oh, I love it when Kurt takes his shirt off. And you know what I say back? I do too. <laughs> and they're all out. Remember our imaginary friends? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Hi Laura! Hello. Hi Didn'ts! This way hi Didn'ts! He said hi Didn'ts! Yeah. We're Queen. making up imaginary friends! Hello Laura and Laura! Ah. And Laura has go head one, down right. to her right. feet and has really pretty yellow hair. Oh. And Linky, who's your imaginary friend? Uh, Didn'ts! Didn'ts, what does he look like? Uh, Is it a girl or a boy? Yeah, boy. What does he look like? Guys, a princess and a person who flies a rocket. Yeah, yeah. Dennis is invisible and he's a trillion. Yeah, he's and cool. my, mine one is about like um, 29 years old. Oh, so the same age as me. Yeah. Um, like, what did dad just do? He sticks his hands in the toilet and wiped it on your body. <laughs>
We're ready for the beach. I'm, I'm puffed, guys. You guys wear me out. Oof. beach was so beautiful I'm going to have a quick rinse off in the outdoor shower then make the kitties some lunch and then start doing some work I did a couple hours when we first got back from my walk this morning but I've still got so much editing to catch up on from when we were in Sydney so I'm gonna be doing that for the next couple hours while Riggy girl naps after they eat some lunch no idea what we're gonna have on the menu for lunch today I think what I might do for them is some of this Where is it? fish these little um mini fillets from coles the kids love them so i'll probably do that with like some fruit yeah this fish every single time we make it they eat so much of it and then depending on how long Riggy girl naps as well lately she's been doing like three hours in the day guys and because we've had a busy morning hopefully she does that might start working now she's got another hour to go sleep so i could get like two or three hours done and then try to sneak in a little gym session i said to kurt this afternoon we should um, go down to the boat ramp. We haven't been down there in ages. Some of you guys who have watched for a long time might remember we used to go down there all the time, like once a week and either do like a brekkie there or a early dinner down there. But basically it's just like this beautiful little creek and they've got barbecues and everything like that. It's just so nice and easy for the kids. And we haven't been down there in ages. So, yes, so. I can blend look blue, blue. Blue, you got yourself dressed. Nice work, Linky. Nice work. Anyways, guys, all the kids are starting to pile in from the outdoor shower, so I'm gonna get them all dressed ready, get Riggy girl her lunch and down for a nap. Riggy, what's wrong? Thanks, Link. Yes, babe? You guys ready to go have a picnic? You look tired from the pool. Are you tired? Are you tired, big day in the pool, down the beach. Oh, we're gonna go have a picnic. Picnic! Picnic! Are you? Hey, I heard you got a new best friend Yeah, it hurts a bit, I won't pretend that It doesn't matter that you're with someone else mm. In a way, that's how it's supposed to be If I'm unable to make you happy Then it's for the better that you are not with me to a pick. <laughs> it's a magic spam That's why I wrote you a letter. Cause you see, I write so much better than I speak. And I need to tell you, you were my best friend till the end. I hope I'll be happy with that. Well, guys, we are heading home now. It's a good way to end the day, also. I missed it there. I really missed it. I really enjoyed it. Oh gosh, the crying begins. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. See you guys soon. Lucky's only two minutes. Have fun.